Calabala, vale, vale, vale. Where is it to get the wherewithal to fucking Holy operate problem. all this stuff? Damn. Hey, it's about time. Sorry, bad traffic. I'll cover you. Cavalry has arrived. Without that, I suppose. I turn that down. Who's in the? Uh, who's driving the heli? The heli chopper there? Is it a, a friend of Leon's? Is it? Now that's what I call backup. The name's Mike. You're looking for firepower. You've come to the right place. The name's Mike. You've come to the right place. Sweet, sweet beast, Mark. Thank you very much. You're a great beast. You're a best. You're one of the best beasts around. You're a sweet beast, and I want to say thank you very much. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, thanks very much. Okay, thanks very much. Oh, you agree, man? After buying some new clobber, round up the boys to come find him. I want the whole town to see me. Thanks very much, Schlerke. Six hundred thousand pounds. Such exaggerated pay under what condition? The license fee. They're having a great old time with the Gatling gun, anyway. The GG. Oh, I'll take that green herb. I'll take that green herb all the way to Herb Town. Thank you very much. I'll put it in my basket. And I'll bring it down to the name-changing ceremony, which is going to take place next Tuesday weekday at, you know where it is, fucking uh, place on Molesworth Street. There's a good video, actually, of uh, Bugenhagen in Dublin, and he goes up there. Check it out. Them. Good luck. They're no match against a fucking high-powered... High velocity weapon. They also have zero brains, so it's very easy to defeat them. We own Roll, thank you very much. Your friendly neighborhood spider. Thank you very much, Cleona Roll. Thank you. Thank you. Let the build time. Oh, hell man, at the moon time. Oh, don't be long. I think he just bombed himself there. <laughs> Egypt's on the ladder. Fair bit of shooting and killing going on, that's for sure. Seven seconds away, I'll be waiting. Boom, Phil, boom, thank you very much. Seven seconds away. Big shout out to Phil Eglinton there, king of the eggs, the egg man. And I want to tell you something about Phil Eglinton. He's a great purveyor of the egg phenomenon. I agree, Bill. Known I as eggs. Clobber. Round up the boys to come point him. I want the whole town Ravola. to see me. Ravola, thank you. He's. Look at these guys. Why has he got face paint on? Where is he going? He's not in the fucking jungle. Um, Phil Eglinton was the, the pioneer of the, the egg phenomenon known as eggs, which you can find out of uh, hen's arses. But it was Phil that actually told the chickens that they could do that. 
And I want to I want to say here now, Phil, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the stream. Thank you very much, and I hope it's all going well for you in the egg biz. Bit of a dump valve for you there. Bit of a little dump valve sting in the tail for you, Phil. You've had your fill, Phil. Nobody wants to hear about you anymore. Eggs, eggs, eggs. It's the exact, exact opposite of what the stream is about. It's about Snake. It's about me. It's about Willie Harold. It's ne it was never about you, Phil. Also, another little random fact there about um, the Eggman, Philly Boy. He actually, uh, the, the, the Craig David tune, Fill Me In, was about Phil. And it was originally entitled Phil, as in Phil, Philip, Fill Me In. Because he just wanted, Craig David really wanted to spend his days hanging out with Phil Eglinton and eating, eating eggs from hens. But he couldn't. Why? Because he hadn't made it at that point at that particular time. He had yet to release um, seven days at that stage. And he was only a minor player in what was the UK garage scene. Look at this. I should, I suppose I should... Uh, Take an old herb there. Now we've got a G14 combined with Gorilla, Gorilla Hayes and Jackie Brosnan Hayes with a, a sweet, sweet touch of Moriar Moriarty Tribunal um, Kush. And that's going to really dust off the cobwebs. Thank you very much, Rav Ravola and Phil Eglinton and Cleon Rowe and Schlerken and Sweet Peace Mark and Adrian McCormack. Can you fill me in? Down. Why would I want to jump down? I don't know what I'm at here. I don't know where I'm going. A bit like life in a way. I suppose uh, the path sometimes, the path of life is not always illuminated. You're, you haven't got a big runway, you know. See the helicopter disappear behind the clouds there. Look at that. Graphical capabilities limited. Cayman Islands, thank you very much. Friendly neighborhood spider. He's hip to the groove. He'll need a new hip after that. Oh. Behind the groove. They're very skillful for uh, for the undead. Uh, archaic medieval weaponry as well being wielded by some of these guys. You'd wonder where they get off with that stuff, you know. Maybe I'll have time to reload the shotgun and blast his uh, wooden shield. Yeah. Who do you think you are, man? Rambo. You're fucking dead now, man. You just got Stallone. That lad just got Jackie Stallone, man. Fucking Botox out of it. Beyond the Botox. The Jackie Stallone story. 
That would be a good title, actually, because, I mean, you are getting beyond what people would see as the, the facade. And uh, you're getting to the to the person behind that, you know? Jackie Stallone. Behind the boat. Hopefully she's still alive. Is she still alive? I'm not sure. Well, we've got to pitch that. Maybe it could be a posthumous release. Unfortunately, she is gone. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to uh, smirch the dead. You can't libel the dead. Look at him. It's great when you see a bit of pain like that from people who are trying to kill you. Really makes the whole uh, situation. It puts a bit of a, a bit, a bit of sugar on top of the biscuit. Or uh, I suppose as, as the the majority of people would say, icing on the cake. Now this this fucker with the Gatling gun is gonna go downtown. Yes. Haha. <laughs> it's really nice. Examine, equip, examine. Can we uh, detach that scope from the thing? Oh, yeah. And we'll combine that with this. Equip it. Oh, the game, the, the match is on, is it? It's not really. What, what's the score? Is it 1-1 after 15 minutes? Huh? Nil all, I see. It's probably boring anyway. I made um, a point of going to watch the Switzerland game the other night. And it was fucking shite. It was like watching paint dry on top of old paint that you painted before th that paint. And you'd also watch that paint dry before it. Basically a double helping of paint drying. Both both halves were, were that bad. Oh, you agree, man? After buying some new clobber, round I'll, up the boys to come pointing. I want the whole town to see me. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you very much. Have you seen the video of the Kosovo manager's interview for the game? In the game, really should feature in the stream. I'll have to check it out, man. But I mean, we're, we're really uh, we're at the business end of this game now. We want to get it finished tonight. I need to move on with my life. And with the game as well, I want to move on to a brand new game. So I, I want to move on with my life as well. This, this is holding me back. Peter Crouch. Exaggerated pay as well. Did someone just drop a bomb on this ship? Cause that stuff was a blast. Six hundred thousand and at the build time. That is dusted. Okay, thanks very much.
to one part. I want to take you to the other side. I just ran into a barrel. Didn't even have to uh, shoot it or, or, or slice it. Fucking that man. The cub fucking telly took. I died. No, I didn't. Oh, I did. Fuck. Thanks very much, Cleona. When I slither home after a hard day out in the fields, there's nothing I like more than lashing a few stickings into the fireplace and. Why are you so obsessed with me? I wonder um, what the story is with these lads. I was saying the last night, are they on time and a half? Because they're doing a great job and they seem to be working through the night as well. In fact, I haven't seen anyone catch a wink of sleep. I think all these guys are... Uh, they're professionals at what they do. Don't be fooled by the state of them. I mean, look at that. They're inflicting heavy damage on me. Where are these guys? Uh-oh. Where did he come out of? Some of these guys have got a real cheek uh, coming up from behind like that. Who do they think I am? Willie Harold. It's fucked up. It's tough. It's not nice. You are dead. You've been dead for three years. Lord Sadler was three days away from his death when you tried to take his head off with a, uh, a high-powered rifle. Nowhere in your book did you write that it was with his consent. Was it with, with Lord Sadler's consent, Leanne? Was it with his consent? Leanne, do you want to take this question? There's no Lord Sadler, it's a made-up name. It's not a made-up name. You're going to tell more lies. Fucking hell. This is a real... Uh, it's a real tough situation we're in. Nothing in it. Why did he even bother giving you that? Wait. Who are you? You know who I am. Anaconda G, thank you very much. Your friendly neighborhood spider. It's a tough situation. It, it, this could actually be the toughest situation we've ever been in since the late Jim Kemi revealed that. Angela's Ashes was an accurate portrayal of the way things were at that time. Did someone just drop a bomb on this shit? That man. Because that that's stuff was a blast. Tell you to me. Clearly you can't pass for Tom Shenanigans. I want to say one thing. Thanks for the donation. Cheers. Or t Timmy Shenanigans. Sorry. Sorry I got your name wrong there on the big reveal. Let's do this. See, uh, Frank McCourt is going to be releasing a book posthumously about dump valves called TISS. And 
Jerry's gonna write one called And my ass Promise I'll stop going on about Jerry Hannon and uh, Frank McCourt after this game after Resident Evil is finished That's it zip zilch you won't hear another peep out of me Because <laughs> people have been saying it's ridiculous The problem is I can't stop it. It's like a fucking force It, it has hold of me and I can't I can't stop I'm gonna try and take out this gobshite on the uh, the Gatling gun and see if we can Buy ourselves more time. Oh. First off, we'll eject Willie Harold from the, the earth. <laughs> he got shot by his own his own gimp. Fuck. All right, seen some people there in the chat saying you keep going on about it. I can't stop it. It's not my fault, you know. It's like being on a on a high. Really, it gives me life. His, his venom and vitriol. Do you know? If, you, if I had half the amount of passion, if I had a fraction amount of passion that that man had, accusing another man of, getting, of being into necrophilia on, on primetime television, then life would be sorted, you know? I'd have the whole fucking world in my hands. You talk about whatever you want. Francis, you're a grown, independent woman. That's the spirit. Seven seconds wait. I'll be Seven seconds wait. Thank you very much for that. Stets I've leashed. He's a great leashed. He's a good climber. He has a face carved by angels. I agree, Bill. After buying some new clobber, round up the boys to come point it. I want the whole town to see me. Dermot, thank you very much, DC. DC Universe. How's the DC Universe going, Dermot? Oh. A lot of creeps. A lot of creeps around this, this town. <laughs> it's great he had a herb as well we can combine those guys Dermot says if Jerry and Frank go we riot we're gonna have to go sometime right fucking hell man see the wind up fucking winding me up with that and another herb as well beautiful 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 stuff it, it's beautiful to see, isn't it? They really did a great situation with this game. Yes! Look at this. Are they just gonna keep coming or? I hate to move along and then to be Start getting shot to bits by that creep. Oh, he's gone. I thought there were. Oh, fucking hell, man. I thought there were like five Gatling guns, but it's just the lad in the sky doing the biz. Lad in the sky doing the biz. Helicopter pilot would be a great job, wouldn't it? Huh? I said helicopter pilot would be a great job, wouldn't it? Hello, are you listening? I'm fucking talking to you. He said helicopter pilot would be a great job. Yes, kick down the gates. If only it was always like that. Would be a 